Hi, in this video we are going to explore how to use compound methods with Orca. The compound methods are here shown in the manual. It's a scripting language, basically programming language that you can use with the input of Orca in order to automate different functions. For example, you could do a geometry optimization followed by a single point energy followed by another analysis and you combine several different jobs into a single script. That's very useful for analyzing automatically large numbers of related molecules or to do a multi-step protocol. In here, this is going to be automated and I'm just going to follow a very simple example which basically contains an input file so I will change the molecule but basically you define a geometry and you call a compound script that will contain the instructions for ORCA. I will not change the compound script, but I will change the initial geometry. So we copy this into a text file here. And I will change the name of the compound script and I will uh, change the geometry. So if I go here to Kencraft, I have added a methanol molecule and a water molecule because the example is meant to calculate accurate hydrogen bonding energies so I will just copy the coordinates so now this is the initial structure for a methanol and water cluster and the name of this compound script is going to be DLPNO couple cluster energy so I will copy this into the input file here I also have a shell script which I require to submit jobs in the cluster but this would be different for each person submitting a calculation. You don't need this if you run this in your own computer. And I will just add this because I'm running the calculation on four nodes but we will see if this produces an error or not. So I copied this from this web page which is a github that's called Orca Quantum Chemistry slash compound scripts. And there are many compound scripts which I will be exploring in different uh, videos. This one I have copied into my own computer. I'm not going to read everything, but essentially what this does is first step one, a geometry optimization, and then a frequency calculation and then an electronic energy using DLPNO coupled cluster single doubles with triples correction with a quite good basis set. I will not change anything because I want to check if it, this works. Each step, new step, step N will define each step. The rest are comments. Here we are defining variables that will be read from the different output files. So this is going to do different calculations. I'm not going to change anything. I would like to change the bit relief method, but I will keep it for now. And let's see if this works. I will run it on my cluster and let you know. So I was having a problem here that I'm getting this error expected equal or, or colon before in the signing of a variable. So there was something wrong. And I searched this in the uh, Orca forum in the error in compound script question. They had the same problem here, wrong syntax in the assignment of a variable. And apparently an enter has to be put after the call to the compound block. So here there should be an enter return. So I save this and I will attempt this again. Okay, so now this is running. Let's see how long it takes. It's running on a single core because I was checking it. I was not including any problems with the PAL4 keyword. So I will read the output file here. So this is now doing the geometry optimization. After this finishes, I will see what the results look like. The calculation succeeded partially. The compound script worked, but the couple cluster calculation at the end crashed because of lack of memory. So I copied the output file to my computer from the cluster. And you can see here that at the end, there was a 
error because it needed more memory than it had. So I submitted a new calculation with more memory that will start from the optimized geometry, but still I wanted to show the structure of the output file. The last step was performing a couple cluster single stables calculation with the DLP and L approximation. This is some of the information in the output file. But before this, there was a geometry optimization and a, a vibrational frequency calculation. And here we can see the start of the compound job two. And if we search vibrational frequencies, we'll see here that it's actually a minimum. So I will show you in Chemcraft the optimization. This is the starting structure. And this is the optimized geometry. When you have these kind of structures where there's a lot of rotational degrees of freedom, so basically the water can rotate, sometimes it's harder to optimize to a minimum. If you had more molecules that define a network, it would probably be easier to optimize the geometry, although it would be lengthier because of the larger number of atoms. So if I go to data summary and the show energy from multiple XYZ file, I can see here that the energy started at 4.6 kilocal per mole. That's uh, compared to the minimum. This is a relative energy. And it optimized more or less in around 30 to 32 steps. It got to a near minimum, but then because the conversion settings were very tight, it was uh, staying for a long time trying to optimize a very accurate geometry. So that was not so easy. But after this, there was a um, frequency calculation. So if I open the file, so this is the output file. It was the optimization frequencies. So I can animate the frequencies. So for example, this is one of the frequencies. This is the other one. So I can see a lot of the results from the calculation in the single output. So this is a single point energy. And I can retrieve that information from the output file. So basically, these are three different output files combined into one. I will keep uh, testing some other examples with larger molecules. So this is all for today. If you want to start using the compound module from Orca, I will post future videos with exploring other options using the compound module. So I hope this was useful. Thank you very much.